Hello and welcome to this channel Programming Fever. In this video, I am going to show you a new project called Proxy Scan, a location based QR code attendance system that completely eliminates proxy attendance. So, before starting the demo, let me first explain the concept behind Proxy Scan and how it actually works. Proxy Scan is built on a simple idea the Geolocation API. When a lecturer or faculty member start a lecture, the application automatically generates a QR code. This QR code contains important details such as the lecture information, room number, and the latitude and longitude of that room, which serve as a reference point for verifying student locations. When students scan this QR code to mark their attendance, they also need to have the location service enabled on their devices. As soon as they scan, the system calculates the distance between the student's current location and the lecture room registered location embedded in a QR code. If the student is more than 5 meters away, the attendance will not be recorded. This ensures that even if the someone share a QR code image through a WhatsApp or any other medium, it would not work because the system verifies the location in a real time. In short, a student must be physically present within the 5 meter of the lecture's room location to successfully mark the attendance. Additionally, each QR code includes a unique lecture ID, making it impossible for a student to generate a fake QR code or manipulate attendance. So that's how proxies can ensure 100% genuine and location verified attendance. Now let's start its demo. First, I will log in as an admin and add a new faculty member. After filling in all the required details, I will click on the add button. And as you can see, the faculty has been added successfully. If you want to view, edit or delete a faculty member, you can simply click here to open the faculty list and perform any operation as needed. Next, I will log in as a faculty member and start adding students. To add a student, I will enter all the required details and click on add button. The student is now added successfully. You can also view the complete student list from here. Now I will create a new lecture and generate a QR code. After entering all the required details, I will click on start lecture button. And as you can see, a QR code is generated. Now I will log in as a student on an Android app and scan this QR code to mark my attendance. Let me enter my credential and log in. Here you can see the lecture we just created. To mark my attendance, I will tap on the mark attendance button. Now you can see the app is asking me for the location permission. After allow it, I will scan the QR code. And as you can see, the attendance has been marked successfully. To verify this, let me switch back to the admin panel. Go to the home page and click on view attendance. And here you can see the student attendance recorded for the lecture we just created. The status shows present confirming that the system worked perfectly. So this is how the faculty generates lecture and QR code and a student can scan them to mark their attendance only if they are within the 5 meter of the range. So that's the complete demo. Now let me move to the source code and project report of this project. So here is a source code of the web application developed using Python and Flask framework. And this is the Android app built using Jetpack Compose. Both application uses Firebase real-time database for data storage and synchronization. And here is a project report which is formatted professionally and included in a complete project package. So if you are interested in this project or if you need any modification in this existing project, then feel free to message me on Instagram Programming Fever. I will provide you link in the description. Please check it out. And if you found this video useful, then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching.